I'd made my way to the part of town Buzz lived in, just as wretched and unappealing as the rest of Darkham. But it was dawn, and that seemed to raise my spirits a little. It was time to look for the voodoo gentleman. I think that's a dormitory. I... Nothing rest. Huge, looming tower overhead. Impressive. Yeah, it's big. It's looming. It's a tower. Let's move on. It, it, it's, a, it's a long way down, though. Maybe some other time. I was surprisingly non-gruesome. Why am I looking at all this irrelevant stuff? I mean, it's a walled archway. Used to be a door. Now it ain't no more. Fascinating. Nothing here. Ladies and gents, we've got a perfect example of a bridge over here. Never cared much for bridges, on account of how many I burnt. Ah. No re That is one horrible way of advertising your merchandise. Then again, I guess they're keeping with their theme. You have to appreciate the Fishmouth dedication and consistency. Just terrible throughout. Who'd put this up here, Eugene? Let's just get this done. It's freaking me out. Fishmouth's own. Doesn't say so, but it's uh, obviously a fishery. Fishmouth. Not excited about going there, that's for sure. It's a whole lot of fish in there. Not a particular fan of eating fish myself. I got nothing against them, but they're ugly varmints. It's closed. It should open pretty soon, though. I could wait a bit if I really wanted in. Yeesh. Christopher Valiant. Oh yeah, I think I heard of him. Too bad he lost his head. Decent fella. They uh, wouldn't have named a damn street after him if he wasn't, right? Supporting Darkham. Just like you're supposed to. Awesome. I lost my head over Gibbous! Void Smoker Alley. Suspicious name, if you ask me. Struggling artist. Aged normally while his portrait stayed this... Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, I like this guy. Oh, man. That's quite the story on this Void Smoker character. Here's to Smoke in the Void. The portrait! It, it stays the same! Weird! I got no interest in this kind of art. Does nothing for me. What's up with this guy? Ugh. It's the nut house. Wait, that's very insensitive. Offensive, too. We really shouldn't be making fun of people with mental conditions. Great. Now I've gone all serious and... Is it awkward? Oh, a little bit, maybe. Maybe it's just uh, different characters interpreting their surroundings differently. Or it could be a sign of moral evolution going on throughout this tale. Or it could be that I'm spending way too much time staring at some distant ruin instead of focusing on the task at hand. Ominously rustling vegetation uh, right behind the fence. Yeah, that's all I got.
park gate removed due to blasphemous activities in the area. Hop fence at own peril. We do not refund garments or pay for hospitalization. It's a right glimmer and dame sat down at that bench there. All alone in the rain. What say I leg over there and see what the deal is? Nah, I shouldn't use that on her. Hey there, what's a nice girl like you doing in this part of town? Charmer, huh? Not really. I try, but... I get called out on it a lot. I'm Don. I'm Margo. It's nice to meet you, Don. Yeah, likewise. Got uh, business with the voodoo gentleman? Why do you ask? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a private investigator. I ask questions for a living. Sometimes I do it without even noticing. Just stop by to thank VG for, um, turning me on to a better path, I guess. Extra straight? No, just talk some sense into me. Let's just say I no longer want to murder my husband. Well, ex-husband now. And I got rid of my toxic lover. Ugh. Oh, well, I'm sure you deserve a good guy for a change. I'm sure I do. So, what are you doing these days? I, uh, roll with a librarian kid with a magic evil book and a talking cat. Just trying to nab this psycho who wants to bring the world to its knees. You're friends with Buzz? Did he pull a fast one on me? Well, it was for the best in the end, so tell him I said thanks. You get around, Margo. Uh, things just happen. Hey, Don. What do you say once you're done with all that? You and me get a coffee? I'd like that, Margo. Then it's a date. Catch you later, Don. Wait, uh... How do we get in touch? I thought you said you were a detective. Smooth. See you when the world is saved, kid. Hey, it's the very voodoo Baron Samedi. He's a doll. Literally. Laura! 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 Cute little voodoo dolls. They've been left out here and no one's stolen them, so it's probably wise just to leave them be. No resonance whatsoever. Big D Street. We're getting quite original with the street names these days, huh? Wonder who this guy was. There's Tiny Print here. Absent-minded professor. Big proponent of video games in general. Liked keyboards over controllers. That's... Okay, that's weirdly specific. To each his own, I guess. So the guy liked his video games, and they named a street after him. What a world we live in. I ain't no video gamer, but I respect the man's passion. Controllers? Ha! Keyboards, I tell you! Keyboards is where it's at! That's my ride to Fishmouth. It's a bust of some tentacle mugged thing. This is what the taxpayer's money goes to. This. I don't get it. Why display this publicly? Why? Yeah, it's an eye. Pretty popular as symbols go. Maybe it's the reason I've been feeling a little apprehensive, even though I've just barely noticed it. I see you! It's a small, half-open window in the door. Warm light within. That's a relief. No need. I can just talk through it. Morning. Password? Fidelio. Hello there. Greetings, traveler. The voodoo gentleman, I presume. 
You presume correctly, sir. And you are? Katype. Don R. Katype. Friend of Buzz's. He was here a while ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's all right, I hope. Is the cat in the same predicament? Still a wisecracking nightmare. Yeah. That's unfortunate. So, uh, what about this Olmstein character? Buzz tells me you says he's a good friend of yours. Yes. Yes, I did say that, didn't I? It's a weird, weird thing about Bob. What is? Well, everything. What does he look like? What's his deal? You probably won't believe me, but see here, it's strange. I've been friends with him for decades now, or at least I'm convinced I have. And yet, it's like one of those dreams where you see the person clearly in front of you, but yet when you wake, you can't for the life of you describe them. Oh, come on. I'm serious. Bob is, well, he's something else. He's the one person I can really say has changed me. I mean, in his presence, I always feel, um... Volatile? Uh, inconsistent? Vibrantly fluctuating? Inevitably equivocal? So we're just listing fancy words now. Do you have a picture of him? Is he on, uh, what you might call it, the, the social, uh... Media? I don't think I've ever seen Bob in a picture, and he's... He's undescribable. A uh, true mystery. Not that you'd care, but none of that helped. Like, at all. What can I tell you, Mr. Katype? Some people are just hermetical like that. Has Bob ever gone by the nickname The Butcher? Oh, no, no. The Butcher? The Butcher's a horrible person, whoever he or she is. Care to, uh, expand on that subject? Not much is known about The Butcher, even in my circle. He's rumored to be into god-awful, unnatural experiments with the dead. Ugh, horrible, horrible stuff. Bob can't be the butcher, or at least I don't think so. I understand he is some kind of authority in occultism. The extent of his knowledge is splendiferous. He knows a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff, right? But it's all... I can't put it into words. He's different, Bob is. Well, that went nowhere. Getting on to something else. Wait, before that, there is something about you. I get this feeling that you are somehow marked. All right, I'm impressed. Yeah, I, uh, I touched something called the, uh, Shining tra Trapeze- tra Trapeze- The Shining Trapezohedron! Yet, yet you stand here before me, so it's true. You have the Haunter's Mark. Forgive me to throw such a cliché at you, but you truly are chosen. Why, uh, thanks for noticing. Mom always said one day I'd show them all who Don Katype is. Of course, you know, with great dark powers come great dark responsibilities. Oh, yeah. Tenebrous forces consuming and corrupting the mortal soul and all that. Not really a surprise, to be quite honest with you. So, how's the voodoo business going these days? You know, can't really complain. A possession here, a curse there. It's really picked up with all the weird cults running around lately. Yeah, gonna be digging into a lot of that soon. About the Haunter's Mark, what exactly does it do? It is supposed to turn its bearer into a receptor of sorts. Great, now I'm a receptor. A way of channeling past events that involved said object. The things we could learn about the world by employing its power. It boggles the mind. Hmm. Yeah. It does sound kind of useful. Kind of like a superpower. So, I'm not complaining. Not exactly a superpower. It's a dark gift. And it may come with great personal costs. Dark or not, I, uh, like gifts. I can, uh, make my hand glow on command, too. Yeah, that's pretty rad. I'm in the need of some robes to attend the Fishmouth Festival. Think you can help out? The Fest? Whatever would possess you to want to go there? Word of dispassionate advice. Don't. Those are bad, bad people, if people they be. I'm up to my neck in it. 
can't really back out now. So, can you help with the robes? I sure can. You're gonna need a fine piece of silk, a miniaturized sewing machine, three tufts of recently shed koala fur. Anything else? A cemetery caretaker's liver, voluntarily donated. What else? Uh, you know those fish that kind of blow up into like spiky spheres every once in a while? Uh, what are they called? Puffer fish? Yeah, well, one of those. Well, not for the robes. I just really always wanted one. Anything else? Male alligators baby teeth, but they have to be in pristine condition, otherwise they're useless. Oh, and any kind of indie game developer DNA. Tears have historically proven to be the easiest to procure. Okay, I've heard enough. Don't you happen to have the actual article laying around somewhere? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Can I just, uh, have it? No, uh, fetch quests or anything? Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? It was really appreciated at last year's Supernatural Society costume ball, but I doubt it would hit as hard this year. It's in the chest over there. Let me unlock it for you. Thanks, voodoo gentlemen. You're, you're all right. No probs, Donatello. Please don't call me that. So, how do I look? Appropriately stupid and scary, simultaneously. Alrighty then, thanks again. I'll be on my way. Whoa, whoa, hold on a minute. That's not enough to get you into the festival, dude. It isn't. What's wrong? Well, don't take this the wrong way, but your smell. Uh, I, I've been traveling a lot. No, no, I mean, you don't stink. Oh, yeah, I knew that. But you need to stink to be led inside Fishmouth during that unholy festival. Like a couple of skunks getting frisky in a garlic patch? Quite the vivid imagery, but no, it's more specific than that. More in the vein of, I've had hundreds of rotting fish rubbed against these robes I'm wearing. The festival seems to be a very fish-themed thing. The locals are very particular with their social gatherings. So, rub a dead fish on it, huh? Shouldn't be too hard. I'm afraid that won't cut it, Don. It really needs to be a lot of rotten fish. All right, Mr. Voodoo. Good looking out. I'll try to think of something. Later. Take care now. And take care of Buzz, too, while you're at it. The same weird spiky vegetation that's also engulfing the library building. It's repulsive. My god, man, can't you see? They just grow forever. There's, there's nothing stopping them. We tried everything. Oh, man. Creepy. Oh, yeah. Tribal art. That makes sense. They're kind of nifty. Wouldn't mind one. Perfectly placed. Perfectly lit. Creepy. I'm really not into this mask. Ooh, it's creepy. But I'll keep it. A mighty pirate skull, by the look of it. The secrets that skull might be holding. Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. That's a fishy looking skull. Literally. I'm willing to bet it has something to do with Fishmouth. It's a big one, Tan! A big one! Cute double headed doll. Neat. Made in San Francisco. Looks fine. Oh my god! Gargalore is headed for the orphanage! What was that all about? It's a pineapple. Reminds me of how hungry I am. Nice pineapple. And some exotic fruit to go with the theme. <laughs> nice. Oh, a throne. Not pretentious at all. Maybe it helps with business. Right there. That's perfect. Woo! All right, this should help with business.
Bogue. <laughs> the Fishmouth look. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to visiting that place. I'm afraid to use the mark on it. Hey, I used to have one of these. God, where'd all this kind of stuff go? Brings back memories. What? Party store skulls. You, uh, get what you can, apparently. Hey, I'm not judging. The effect is still there. Two for three bucks? Let me have them. Looks just like many, many other skulls. Yeah, I've lost interest. My size. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. What's a microwave oven doing here? Kind of unprofessional. I don't believe in microwaves. Like, what did you even click on? Heat mixture up to 200 degrees. I knew you'd come in handy. A sword. I like me a good sword. Piratey. Take that, you scurvy sea cucumber! Those bananas remind me that I'm famished. I could really go for those, but nah. And some exotic fruit to go with the theme. <laughs> nice. It's a ship's hull. Quite the dedication to theme, I guess. Neat. We're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Looks like where the fishmonger lives. Not the most inviting of corridors. I guess it's a fish scale. <laughs> Sorry. That's all I got. Be sure to tip your waitresses. Validation at the door. Poor devils. How undignified. They really, really smell bad. I cannot overstate that. An assortment of fish and other sea life. Well, X life now. It uh, stinks to high heaven. Any kind of will to ever consume these creatures is uh, so behind me right now. Poor things, not just killed, but displayed on ice with assorted lemons. What a way to go. Oh, that is foul. Oh my, oh, you god. There's more death, despair, and gunk in there than I've experienced in my entire life. There's a hatch in the ceiling, apparently holding back something incredibly gross. There's a foul-smelling liquid dripping from it. Ugh. It's holding back olfactory hell itself by the smell of that stuff dripping from it. Just throw them all in there and lock the hatch. We'll get uh, rid of them one of these nights if you know what I mean. Some kind of refrigerating unit. There's a pipe leading up into the ceiling. 
Probably something needs to be real chilly like up there, but this unit doesn't seem to cut the mustard. Poor machine seems to be on his last legs. Nothing. It's the owner of this fine place of business. Not the friendliest fella in Darkham. It's the owner... I'm... Okay, scared to use it on him. Morning. Brother. 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 Okay. Yeah, I need fish. Sure thing, brother. What type and how much? Type doesn't really matter. Need hundreds of them. Rotten. Oh, that's suspicious. What you need them for? What do you care? I got the milk. I can cover it. Can't sell your rotten fish, sir. Sir? What happened to brother? Anyone can wear a robe. And when they start making dubious demands, how do I know you ain't one of them health inspectors? Do I look like a health inspector? Maybe you're undercover. Yeah, undercover health inspectors. That, that's a thing. I ain't risking my license revolt. They're way past that stage. Don't need to weigh it. That's my private area there. No access. <laughs> yeah, I heard it as I said it. I'm not interested in weighing anything. Brother. Mm, I don't know about that. What's uh, the deal with the hanging chain? All due respect, sir. That's none of your business. I detect a pretty strong smell coming from up there. Could it, perchance, be where you keep all the merch that's gone bad? Now that's presuming a whole lot, sir. Not exactly a refrigerated environment if we go by old factory clues. What old factory? There's a smell, Brother Fishmonger. And nasty stuff dripping from the ceiling. That's my damn business, if you don't mind. Oh come on, we uh, we we bros, you know it. I straight up and down don't. Say, you look familiar. What? We all look the same to you, Darkamites, don't we? Racist. Racist? <laughs> Not at all. There's just something about your uh, your features, your eyes, maybe. You think I don't know the stereotypes y'all throwing round about us? Fish face, bug eye. And all that sort. Well, I'll have you know, before you make any kind of ignorant comment about my eyes, I've got a sleeping condition, all right? Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Is that bad, are you? You taking anything for that? Yeah, it's bad. And no, drugs don't work. The smart man what stays away from drugs. Gee... Thanks for the insight. Huh. Do you, uh, take sleeping pills? Ain't working for me. I can take a fistful and it'll be like chugging some joe. Yeah, dog. Life ain't at ease if you ain't got those Z's. Yeah, like you give a rotten fin about my problems. Just trying to empathize here. I still need those rotten fish, bro-ham. And I still can't sell you any, so drop it, bro -sif. Do you happen to have sleeping pills around? Yeah, got mine right here. They're yours if you want them. They're no use to me. So what do you do about your sleeping problem? You sure curious. Well, it can't hurt to tell you. Been experimenting with hypnosis and suggestion lately. Hypnosis? Really? Does it work? Well, it ain't been long, so I don't really know as yet. Doc been suggesting stuff to me for some sessions, and the payoff's still to come. 
What's the payoff? He calls it the Catalyst. It's a secret spoken command. Supposed to make Juan fall asleep instantly. So, did you get yours? Sure did, but I'm scared to use it to be honest. Doc says I might sleep for three days straight. So, out of curiosity, what's your secret command? Doc says I ain't supposed to share that with anyone. Why, it'd cause chaos in my personal and professional life, it would. Yeah, I suppose it would, wouldn't it? Plus, if I told you, I'd just fall asleep instantly, and then it'd be all awkward, wouldn't it? I suppose it would be, yeah. So, how do you find Darkum? It's alright, I guess. But her smell just... Ugh. That's why I mostly keep to my shop. Smells like home in here. Oh, yeah. Fish mist is gonna be a blast. I bet I know what your command is. I'll bet you you don't. Angel tummy. Why? Was... Was this? I was all sleepy all of a sudden. But wait... Could it be just cause of you boring me to sleep with your cutesy guessing game? Ugh, you had me there for a second. <laughs> Baby butt. Cute, but it ain't that one. Fuzzy cushion. Huh, that ain't it. Never mind. Catch you later. That's the fishmonger's medication. Could this be any way of use to me? Your secret command is bubble wrap. Picking it up won't do anything, but there might be some use for it. I bet I know what your command is. I'll bet you you don't. Bubble wrap. How'd you? Huh, it worked. I have to admit I had serious doubts, but it, uh, it actually did. And it was time to get my robes dirty, so to speak. <laughs>